Good morning, everybody. This is Brenda. How are you all doing this lovely day? Um, today, I wanted to uh, show you some of the, or actually one of the Christmas covers that I have done. And um, this was inspired by um, Gail Gustinelli, how I got this put together. Um, this is a canvas topper with a um, napkin decoupage and I did the gesso and some stamping, uh, some script, and then some uh, splatters of some um, ink splatters. And this is how it turned out. This is the inside. And I really enjoyed making this and I really like how it turned out. So um, I thought I would show you how I put it together in case you guys want to give it a try. So I'm going to set this aside. And this is another one that I am working on. So um, this, of course, is Santa. And the um, same, uh, basic, the, basically the same way that I did the snowman one, um, except for this one. I had a little bit of a boo-boo on the back because for some reason I went to uh, spread some, um, let's see, Mod Podge on and the color started to run uh the red started to run so um i don't know why because i did dry it overnight and i assumed that it was completely dry which it is now but um instead of starting this all over again i decided to cover up the little boo-boo and i like how it turned out so um, I'm going to go with it and use it <clears throat> and finish it. So that's my Santa one. And I thought I would show you what I do to put these um, together. So I do use a 9 by 12 envelope. And before I get started with covering the envelope, I insert... this pre-fill on the inside and I get this from and I use two different things for my inside of my envelopes I use this is one thing that has a beautiful crinkly sound to it and um, what I do is in this case is cut it right down all three sides and then trim this down so that it fits right inside my envelope. This time I tried this, which has another beautiful crinkly sound. And I um, just pulled this apart like so, very simple. Simply pulled apart. And then you just slice right down or cut right down here and cut it down to size, which I did here. And that fits right inside your envelope to give it that little bit of a um, pad and a little bit of a crinkly sound. Love it. Love it. And this is the... Um, this is the inside that I thought I would put with Santa. Love the colors on this. So first thing first, I take my fabric. I have my back side up. I'm going to go ahead and glue um, this flat down. You can take this off. 
before. Um, most envelopes today don't even have that. Well, you can get it without it is what I'm trying to say. So I am just going to glue this flap right down. And put a little glue here. Because that, you know, that doesn't bother me being, being there. It covers right up nicely. So then I am going to just put some glue very lightly. Just enough to hold this down because it is going to be sewn around. And I try to stay as much as I can away from the edges. I'm going to check again and make sure my um, fabric is the way I want it. Wrong side up. And then place this right about in the middle. And I'm going to turn it over and make sure it's nice and flat as can be. Love this fabric. So pretty. So the next thing we do here is we miter the ends of the fabric. And that, um, just make sure that you don't uh, get too close to the edge there so your little uh, corner will come peeking out. I do that to all four corners. Then I am going to glue these edges down. And I am, I don't know if I told you, but I am using the um, Fabri-Tac, Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. I'm pretty sure that any glue will um, work just fine for this. As far as the, uh, you know, the three-in-one, you can get the three-in-one or the Fabri-Tac. So, um, I think the three-in-one is a little less expensive than the name brand Fabri-Tac. So, just make sure when you're doing this that you pull up as tight as you can for the uh, for the edges because we want it to be nice and snug. Probably didn't need to go up that high. Make sure you put a little glue on your corners here so that will catch right there and right there. I always get so messy with my glue. Make such a mess, a mess. And the last side here. And I'm making more of a mess. That um, Fabri-Tac this, this time has quite an aroma. Okay, so there is what's going to go in our cover. I'm 
and I want to see I want to make sure which I should have done before but it does I put my covers at this just fits just the way I like it I've got my cover at 12 by 9 now most of the time I try to go just a little little bit over the 12 because um, with the uh, with the envelopes you never know um, if they're going to be true to size like this just just makes it all the way around so you might want to just to be safe um, make it just a little bit bigger because it's better to make it bigger than to have it too small. So I'm just going to go ahead and just glue this down with a little bit of light glue and um, let that dry for a little bit and then I will go ahead and sew it off camera. And I will probably use, like I did on the snowman, I will probably use the um, zigzag stitch. And I'm going to make sure that this is the correct way. And this, and I'm going to try to center it as much as possible let's turn it around this way this one was a little um uh, canvas was uh, yeah was a little uh wrinkly on this one so when i sew it i'll try to Flatten that out as much as possible. So this one just barely made it around. But yeah, I'm going to love this. Very pretty. But this I'm going to set aside and let that, um, let that dry a little bit before I go ahead and sew around it. And um, the edgings here I've got the what is it called the uh, fray it, it's the fray I don't know if I have it handy here but I thought it might be right in my handy drawer but I don't see it fray check that's what it's called oh look I found some no, that's not glitter. <laughs> I, uh, uh, use the fray check around the edges here to stop the fraying from going around, but it only frays up to the, uh, sewing if it gets away, but I try not to let it get away. So that is going to be my Santa, and that is going to be my snowman. Now, um, I've been thinking about, and that's the pretty inside to the Santa. I've been thinking about trying to make, you know, just the regular fabric uh, Christmas, a regular fabric one. I've got um, this fabric here. I haven't decided yet, but I've got some more Christmas uh, fabric. I love this because I'm very partial to cardinals. So I thought about maybe that one. I'm hoping you guys will give me a suggestion on what you may like to see in a journal form. I've got this beautiful poinsettia 
fabric. And I like the, uh, the gold, um, you know, outline of this around the poinsettias and the leaves and everything. So I have that that I think is very pretty. But I also have this, which I um, got at a thrift store. And this is um, like a handmade, I've got two of them, two of them. And this is like a, a handmade quilting piece, which I thought would make a beautiful um, winter cover for winter. But I just don't know how I would cut it out to um, turn it into a journal. See, this would be way too tall to do it like this. So I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure if I would be able to cut it out in the... Um, in a good way to turn it into a journal. I would like to have it like this, but that's not gonna happen. Unless I made a huge one, but I don't think so. So that is what I am working on today. I will be um, doing these, um, I'll be doing these journals today, sewing them and everything. I wanted to also remind you, 1,000 subscriber giveaway is this coming Saturday. Three winners will be chosen Saturday, October 7th. And um, uh, please make sure you comment on the original giveaway video. Subscribe, like, and comment. What would you like to see more of in my videos? All I ask is that you please make sure it's on the original video that you comment on because that is the video that I will be using to choose the winners. Okay, so just a little reminder. Um, other than that, I think that is what I had planned for this morning. So, um... I will let you guys go and I will get these or this sewn together and I need to find some inserts, some signatures or some um, digitals to use uh, for the inserts and get those prepared and basically I'm going to start working on Christmas. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and stay safe and healthy. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and give me a comment. I try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, thank you all for your um, subscribing and um, your comments thus far. It's been so fun to read your comments and um, try to get them all answered back. So uh, if you uh, have any questions, like I said, give me a ring, give me a call. Don't call me, comment, sorry. <laughs> uh, comment, please, and I will get back to you. So other than that, I'm gonna leave this flat so it will dry. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day and the rest of the week, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye, everybody.